Big improvement in terms of the the work rate, the, the fitness levels, the, the levels required to compete. Um, but yeah, I said to the boys, you know, regardless of what goes on, the games won and lost in both boxes, and uh, two moments really. Set, set plays were key, were massive. We, you know, we said we're, we're quite we're a threat on them, but we have to really defend them. So it was disappointing to to concede from a set play after. A not bad opening ten minutes really, um, and then yeah, second half conceding early again. Key key times they scored at key times really, and you know they you can see they've got experienced pros. The, the game management's effective, shall I say? Um, but just just punished us really. For we we done well to get obviously back in the game with a goal, and then again we 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 matched them and, and they slowed the game down. Then they slowed the game down really well for. Probably the last 20 minutes with, with breaking play up, couldn't really stop in any sort of momentum really from us. I made it clear to them this week, I made it clear that last week against Fleetwood with our highest runners 10.7k, now that ain't gonna get that ain't gonna win your games in the National League. Now I'm, I'm just being honest because you know collectively as a group you, you're running 105 kilometers. It's nowhere near good enough for this level, and you'll see that. Like you'll see that Wigan probably constantly run one sixteen, one seventeen as a team, and, and people might say, "Oh, he's going on about stats again, running stats." But it's it's facts. The best teams run the most. Like I say, none of them really can go off today thinking I've I've had a nightmare or this and that. You know, I've not played great because they've all competed really well and worked the socks off.